guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be showing you guys Zadea, a new unit that I am currently obsessing over. Um, I don't think she's new on the market, but she's new to me. She is part of the Outre Color Bomb collection. And honey, let me just say, if you are new to the wig game, please cop you one of these. If you are worried about whether or not it is going to look realistic, natural, I mean, hunty. It looks like bundles, does it not? Like, I am literally living for this. And before I dive into this video, I do want to give a special shout out to Gladys for putting me on the Outre Color Bomb game. She did review a unit called Courtney in a honey wheat blonde color, I believe, and I fell in love with it where I did a little research, looked for every single thing in the Color Bomb collection, and I came across Zadea and completely fell in love. Now, I did get her in the soft copper color, and I am seriously living for it. I am so glad I picked this color. I don't have anything like this in my wig collection currently until now, and I didn't know what I was missing in life until I put her on. Now, the past few months, I've stuck to mainly only wearing human-haired wigs. Life was a breeze with human hair wigs. It doesn't tangle as much. It doesn't look... You know what I mean. It doesn't look um, shiny, synthetic. It doesn't look tacky because some synthetic wigs can get bad really fast. And I'm going to put myself on blast because when I watched that 10K highlight reel, like why didn't nobody tell me how messed up my hair was looking up in those videos? Um, but, <laughs> but overall, I feel like, like this synthetic wig blew it out of the water because child I almost gave up on synthetic wigs because some of them was just getting on my nerves all right they all the tangling all the shedding all of that but um I've had this unit on now probably about an hour I was setting up lights cleaning up a little bit just to go ahead and film these videos for y'all but um there's really no complaints here now while I'm running my fingers through it while I'm running my brush through it it glides super easy. There hasn't been any snags. Um, there has been a little bit of shedding though. Before I started brushing it, I did clean the hair out. And as you can see, there was a couple fibers that came out. So if that bothers you, that may be a thumbs down about this unit. But as for me, I have yet to find a synthetic wig that doesn't give me some sort of shedding. Um, <laughs> so that doesn't really bother me much because as I'm running my fingers through it, there's no strands coming out. Typically, that's a major red flag for me just because if you're running your fingers through the hair and it's coming out, that's an issue. <laughs> but uh, overall, I'm living for the color. I think it looks very, very nice. There's a lot of dimension. These dark roots are super natural, to be honest. Sometimes it can be a little bit too much, but I feel like the way they blended it um, looks really, really nice. So she is about 24 to 26 inches in length. It hits me just above the booty. Again, I am five foot two. So if you're taller than this, it may be more like a mid-back kind of length. Now, she does have two combs in the front. They're in a little bit of a different position than most of the wigs that I've seen. They're a lot closer to the parting, so that way it's not shifting. Also, the way it looks against my skin tone, I'm living for. I feel like I look like I got a complete makeover. For like what 40 bucks <laughs> 35 bucks so um, I'm definitely digging it I think with this color collection um, I'm definitely going to be getting this olive green color because it's different honey but I think one thing that's really dope about this co entire collection is the fact that they have so much different variety 
as well as split dyed wigs. So as you can see right here, this one is half blue, half like, half dark blue, half light blue, half yellow, half peach. Like so many different options and colors all on the back right here. Also, I feel like for a synthetic wig, the parting looks very, very good. It was super easy to hide the knots not a problem at all and a little trick that I use is I go ahead and put concealer on the inside of the wig to cover the knots that way the part looks very very natural I do not pluck I do not put concealer on the outside anymore I just found that putting the concealer on the inside and kind of pressing it lightly on the lace to cover those knots is the easiest, less messy way to do it and the most natural because for some reason plucking a synthetic wig can go wrong very, very quickly in the parting space and I know some of y'all have seen some people overdo they pluck, okay? <laughs> so, so I was definitely not trying to do that on this unit. Um, I will say when I first took her out of the packaging, for some reason there was so much static electricity. I have no idea why. So what I went ahead and did was just take a dryer sheet and rub it throughout the hair just to kind of calm it down a little bit and also take away a little bit of the shine. I don't like my synthetic wigs overly shiny. However, this one wasn't that bad, but like I said, since it was staticky, I used the dryer sheet anyway, and this is how it's looking. But yeah, overall, I'm loving this unit. 10 out of 10 from me. And by the way, I don't know if I mentioned this yet, but it is not sponsored at all. Yeah, I spent my own money, so don't think Outre out here sponsoring me and stuff, but um, I will definitely and happily spend more money on this wig collection for sure. I feel like the amount of variety and options you can get with it are endless. So yeah, that is it for today's video guys. I hope you liked it. Also, before I end this video, I do want to give this week's special shout out. Goes out to Strizzy. Thank you so much for watching, supporting me and my channel. And if y'all don't know who he is, be sure to go ahead and check his channel out as well. We will be making something very special soon. So anyways, that is it for today's video, guys. If you liked it, then don't forget to leave your girl a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one.